everyone. It's once again tropical storm season with Hurricane Florence crashing into America's east coast like Mel Gibson in the parking lot outside a liquor store. In addition to the loss of life and the economic impact of the storm, the property damage alone is estimated to be upwards of $170 billion, and you have to remember that that's just the initial quote the repairman gave. So bear that in mind when you look at those pictures of mobile homes and trailers which have, for whatever reason, remained firmly in place throughout the storm rather than moved out of harm's way as the name trailer or mobile would imply. Anyway, just to add insult to injury, the people who live there will now have to wait a few weeks to have electricity restored, only to finally turn on the television and have adverts for the November midterm elections rammed down their faces for several more weeks. You know, it's a bit like hearing that a friend of yours has been moved out of intensive care, only to discover that they've moved him to the mortuary. Talking of mortuaries, though, the two Salisbury Russian spies have been back on the news following an interview in which they denied poisoning Sergei and Yulia Skripal. Um, I should add that the Skripals aren't actually dead. People do forget that they survived, uh, but I guess I'd keep my head down too if I were a former Russian double agent and Vladimir Putin was keen on having me killed. Anyway, they decided to take a break from whatever spies do these days, I don't know, spreading fake news, using Facebook to dismantle Western democracy, um, to do an interview for Russia Today, a news channel which is to unbiased objective journalism what pot noodles are to haute cuisine. Anyway, in the interview, the two Russians deny absolutely everything and claim to have visited Salisbury on a whim, all the way from Russia, in fact, uh, to see its 123-metre cathedral spire. Well, you know, Thomas Beckett was killed outside Canterbury Cathedral back in 1170, and I'm sure Henry II had a very similar excuse. You know, it worked out okay for him in the end, I guess. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.